Welcome Lynette Cole and Sergio Lira to The Big Deal. Hi. Hi, thanks How for having How are you? Us. Good, thank you for having us. I love these outfits, thank, thank you. you. We were waiting for <laughs> you. I feel special. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we were talking about awards and we know you were like in Sundance and you were having some fun there, right? Uh -huh. So we, we had to dress for the occasion. <laughs> Thank you. Although I feel like you gotta be a little bit more layered when you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we are the LA version. Yeah, the in LA, LA version. we are more like summer. You're not in the summers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I'm so into the movie right now. For sure, I want to know everything. Sasha Cache is there, Residente. How was the the process of this movie? The process from the beginning? Yes, from the beginning, everything. So Sergio and I obviously started this company called Loose Films yeah. and, uh, last year. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like in October or so, our friend uh, Fernando Rodriguez Vila, we call him Nando, he's the head of Exile Content, the, direct, mm -hmm. uh, the director, sorry, the president of the studio. And as a friend, he, he had this script called In the Summers. Rene already was attached through Lexicon, which is the other company that produced this with us as well and Excel content. And uh, because I'm Puerto Rican, born and raised in La Isla del Encanto, and uh, I grew up with Rene's sister, like I did theater with oh. Rene's sister, and I knew Rene, he was like, you need to make this movie. Absolutely. And I'm like, I gotta read it first. <laughs> <laughs> totally. uh, so I read it, and then at the same time, um, I brought it to our company, we started this company, and we wanted to enhance the voices of Latinos in yeah. the industry. Um, and it was the perfect movie to start with. And like Sergio worked for A24, was work, used to work for A24, and he had met Alessandra already. So it was like we have there to make this movie. And you can like chime in and, and like tell your experience of like how you met yeah, Alessandra. Yeah, 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 of course. I mean, I think um, I remember when we first met, and she. It was from the from the, right off the bat. It was always a really beautiful but heartbreaking but honest story you know about um you know fatherhood and and being a daughter to you know um, a parent who is dealing with generational traumas and trying to break out of that habit even in in, in a loving way um and so i was always very excited right off the bat from like her as like her vision and being able to like you know just tell this very honest story and so you know, fast forward to a little over a year later, um, or about a year and a half, a half later, year, yeah. um, when, you know, Exile Content brought this to Lynette and the familiarity with like Alessandra's vision with Renee on board, you know, it just seemed like a no brainer for us to come on board. So it was, it was a full circle moment for yeah. us, like that it came back, you know, into our life or into my life and then into Lynette's life. And so, you know, after that, we really, you know, started to put the other pieces in place, you know, ahead of production. And, you know, Sasha's, um, you know, she's Colombian American, Alessandra's Colombian American, American you know, yeah. um, they're both from the queer community. And so Sasha, when we were at an event, was like, how do I not know this director? <laughs> uh -huh. You know, and her friend Leslie Grace um, had just joined the project um, after a conversation that her and, you know, Rene had had. So it just kind of started to organically line up and, and, and in a very beautiful way because you know even though it's a story that's set in New Mexico that has a huge Mexican American population um, the the cast and the crew um, you know ha has different nationalities and background you know that's it's very fantastic. Caribbean because you know, we always talk about that that uh, here the industry when they say Latinos is mostly Mexicans, Mexicans yeah. mm -hmm. so what I liked about this movie was that that okay they're Puerto Rican have Dominicans yeah. 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 And Dominicans yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no and it's um, um, also for us it's it was important to to have people of note in the movie like Sasha Calle, Leo Mejiel, who also mm -hmm. is Puerto Rican Greek yeah um, uh, Leslie Grace Renee but also discover new people through, like we have like this amazing four different like two sets of sisters that play like the little girls and then when they're like in mid wow. like 13 15 that are latinas and like they're incredibly talented and there's they're like the heart of the film so like even discovering new people for wow. us was important you know and for the team in, in general you know just to like put in front like latinos that you never have been seen before totally. you know so you're talking about latino uh, in our culture, this is my sticker, I'm Argentinian. <laughs> <laughs> if you need an Argentinian in any movie... 100%. Uh, 100%. Yeah. That's my yeah. headshot. 
I know ways, no time, guys. I love this. I'm going to steal this from now on. No, we're also, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, in other projects as well, you know, we're working with talent all over South America, Central America, Mexico, the Caribbean, so like, everywhere. We, yes, we need more Argentinians yes. as well. <laughs> well, that's why you created Loose Productions, right? Loose like, Films. Loose Films. Loose films to empower more Latinos in the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to take back the control of the creators, you know. Normally, I mean, we, we were giving opportunities for like artists to be yeah. at the forefront, and like if, if then we have actors that want to direct, you know, oh, wow. that normally that's, we, they always tell us in the industry to stay in your lane, and like a lot of us are hyph like multi-hyphenated, mm -hmm. like I'm an actor, so here's a writer, so like our company is, it's a lot of artists that want to do just more than one thing, and, and we're, you yeah. know, giving those people the opportunity to do so. You know? Amazing. Now, you guys had an amazing experience by having Loose Films be featured on Deadline, and it's such a big deal having something on such a big trade. How important is it that other trades really highlight the importance of representation? And you're in the big deal, too, right? And <laughs> the big deal, which is a big deal. We are a big deal. <laughs> we are, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is the big deal. <laughs> no, I mean, I think, you know, we were actually talking about this earlier today, you know, yeah. um, because there was another publication that recently, you know, dropped um, on IndieWire um, about the company. Yeah. And, you know, I think um, what we realized is obviously, like, we can't be apologetic like we have to be unapologetic Correct. you know we have to like use our voice be loud like be vocal about it like not shy away from the truth and obviously calling out you know certain things that haven't happened in the industry yeah. um and so it's good for us you know and i think other what we're what we're seeing is that i think other everyone agrees you know i think mm -hmm. i think yeah. people haven't always like again been has like so um, front-facing and vocal about it but I think you know we feel responsibility to not shy away from the truth it's and like and like our duty yeah to do so. it yeah, really does you know? feel like a duty and yeah, so like totally. so to, to, to answer you know your question about like just you know other up publications and you know other you know other journalists and every really everyone like getting on board and and like being supportive and and stuff like that it really starts with the truth yeah and yeah. like I think we have to also be able to, you know, we have to talk about the problems that, it, that currently exist. And yes, we're doing it. We have a really great initiative, but it's also because there hasn't been enough support from us in the past. Yeah. And so, like, to say that, and obviously we, we, our hope is to not, you know, not rely and wait on other, you know, bigger companies to support projects from, from Latino stories. But we have to acknowledge that there hasn't been that support before. And, and also we have to, um, it's the time to do, to act instead of like you know we complain a lot about the problems so but what are we yeah. doing about the problems and like both of us and like our, our third partner Cristobal Guel we're like not wait like you said we're not waiting we're doing Absolutely. and like continuing the journey and like we hope that everybody else comes on board and and we're not scared like let's move without fear and just with conviction and yeah. intention mm -hmm. you know totally you're I, making I it that. happen Thank you so much, Lynette yes. and Sergio, Thank for you. being Thank here. You. Thank you. Thank you, Elisha. Thank you. <laughs> See you all next time in the next big deal. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Bye.